Hey, this is Anthony from West Coast Custom Concrete. Today's video will be on an S70 with a 375 pound Susan breaker. I'll be taking out a patio. This is in Costa Mesa, California. Um, today I was just, that's the beauty of having equipment and pumps and bobcats. I didn't have anything going on. I was just sitting around minding my own business and somebody called me up and said, hey, you want to demo out 800 square feet in Costa Mesa, which is about 15 minutes from my house. And the ironic thing about this little tractor, this is the smallest um, skid steer they make. It's an S70. You can command the most money with this because you can charge about three to five to six dollars a square foot in a backyard. So, for instance, I came out on this job and it's I think it was 800 square feet and I charged twenty four hundred dollars and I broke it in probably an hour. I mean, if that and, I, and loaded out, it took me about three hours. And with dump fees, I made about two thousand dollars and I didn't. I wasn't even planning on working. I was going to the beach that day, riding my bike around. And someone called me up. And while I was demoing this, somebody called me up and asked me if I wanted to pump 30 yards. I'm not a service anymore, and everybody knows I'm not. But certain people I'll, I'll bring my tractors or I'll pump for. But I don't run a regular daily service with it. And this is the beauty of this tractor. I mean, look how tight this is getting back here. I mean, it's super tight. But with this little tractor, this is what it's made for, tight areas. Even this turn up here, I got a makeover. He had all kinds of stuff. We moved a few things out of the way, some plywood and stuff, so I could get by and get it back there. Because once you get it, once you get back there, you can just go to town, gangbuster it. It's pretty tight though, getting in and out of here. And with the way I got to break, it's all the way almost to this corner, so getting back out. But I stage everything. I look at it, how I'm going to go about it. I mean, it's locked in against the against the house and right there where I just drove over against the brick and then up in that corner. So I'm going to work on the left of the slab and then it's all technique. And then as I get in, I'll, I'll angle it and I'll surge forward and push it away from the house to the left. And then I'll just break it up like I'm doing. And as I break, you can see as I do it, as my, my bits going in and it's sliding up the bit, I surge forward and fling it forward because you don't want to just put holes in it, and not make a gap in between. Cause as you keep breaking, the slab will get tighter and tighter and tighter. See, I'm just, place it away from the house and I just stage it away and then I just break it up over here. I'll work to the less of, left of the slab where my tires are away from the house. I'll get about three, four feet back. Then I'll go against the, the glass of the sliders and I'll put a couple holes in it and, and break it out, uh, loosen it up and I'll angle and surge to the left and fling it away from the house. Once you unlock it, like I'm unlocking it here, this is about, some of it seems to be about five to eight inches thick with wire mesh in it. But I mean, it's all technique and it's all angles. The whole thing's angles the way I'm doing it. And I push everything forward as I go to leave a, a void in between where I'm breaking and what's in front of me. And then when I put the bucket on, I'll just push it off, keep working it forward into a pile in this corner. And I'll come along the house and then I'll come straight at the house and load it that way. And it, it's just, so I'm just angling it away from the glass. I broke it far enough back where I'll just put holes. I can literally hit it with a with the breaker and know exactly where I want to run the crack to. This is all angles and techniques. This is a little S70. And I'm just going right through this. So I just throw it all forward. Just keep pushing it forward. And then when I put the bucket on, I can come and just scoot it all in the corner and just load it out of that corner. I'll push it all the way back into the pile over there. But this is a $2,000 day. It took me about three hours. I wasn't even planning on working or nothing. That's, you know, you can't make that with a trowel in your hand or you got to buy equipment and for your company or have run a service, whatever you want. The setup I have is really nice here. See, this is all methodical, the way I'm doing it, the way I'm moving everything. I already knew exactly how I'm going to go about it, where I'm going to break from. I just know when I get all the way to the back, I probably shouldn't have broke the last piece because there's nowhere to turn around, but I'll spin back there. And I was just going to figure it out as I went. See, I'll slide it out away from the house. I'll just keep working it out over so I don't break the glass or nothing. Richard put up um, plywood and, and cardboard, but you didn't really need to, but the homeowner was comfortable with it, so I don't say anything. I just let him do it, but this thing is sh shooting shards, this breaker, though. It hits really good. This is just cakewalk. You're not going to do this with a stand behind her. Something like that. I mean, you can't be ridiculous. You got to be realistic and buy the right stuff. You don't reinvent the wheel when you see something like this. You see with your own eyes how to go about it. 
and I'll just see. I'll just pick it up and I'll throw it over a way. I'm just trying to uh, break the wire as I go. When you go in, if you search for it a little bit as it's going in, you can separate it. This is all just straight technique and angles how to do this. Uh, he wanted to leave that planter, but little to it did he know they poured the, the set the bricks on top of the concrete. So it was what it was right there. I'm just keep hammering through this, but it is so imperative to buy equipment. And if you're going to be in construction or have the right stuff, because like people could just call me and say, you want to demo this or that? And I'll just come out and do it for the day or whatever. Just come over here by myself. My yard's about five minutes from my house. I told him I'd be there in an hour. I went to my yard, loaded this tractor up in the breaker and drove over there and just went right through this. I mean, I could do two or three of these in a day. No problem by myself. So there's wire in this. It's fairly thick. It looks pretty thick. I didn't really notice it when I was breaking it because I was just going right through it. And like I was saying, just keep scooting stuff forward with your breaker. And then you'll get good at maneuvering a breaker and with the breaker because it's all, you know, time on it. I've, I've spent, I'm not really an uh, operator. I can operate anything, backhoes, uh, excavators. I'm probably an A level at everything. But I haven't spent that much time on any of it. I'm, I'm more identified with a concrete pumper. That's basically what I am, but I've spent about a thousand or twelve hundred hours on a skid steer, which I know for a fact because I've owned so many of them and I had employees and I only ran certain equipment. I didn't let anyone run certain tractors I had and I could I do all the maintenance. So I know how many hours on them. So I've spent about a thousand or twelve hundred hours on a skid steer. And I was probably as good as I am now and within four hundred hours. I had it dialed. Sometimes you can screw yourself and you break it the wrong way and you lock yourself in or you don't push them forward like I'm doing. And as you just break it and pull the breaker out, it gets tighter and tighter as you go back, as you scoot back. So you just want to see as the breaker's going in, and I'll, I'll angle it and once I slide up my breaker, I'll just throw it forward and just keep moving it out of my way. So I'm unlocking the slab. There's nothing restricting me in my way. It's just another piece that's um, been compromised behind it. And there's no structure to it. And I can just go right through it. Just got to be very careful of the windows and stuff. So, you know, I'll, I'll break this thing up and I'll probably flip it over and move it out of the way. Just keep a gap. Don't lift the tires too high. When I listen to a guy breaking, because everyone who came to work for me was supposedly the best in the world, I'd watch him and they... They suck. And I didn't really see any guys that were any good. I listen. I don't even need to watch them. I can just listen to the hammer, how many gaps, how long the gap is in between that thing's breaking. If that hammer is constantly moving, blah, 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 blah. I know, you know, the guy's got it down and he's moving fast. And the money, every time the breaker goes through, you're making money. Every time you're breaking pieces and the quicker you get it loaded and the faster you do it. But in the beginning, you don't try and go for speed and, just be content and not breaking anything and hitting anything and taking your time and learning how to do it. Then you can continually speed up as you keep doing different jobs, but you don't need a saw pallet for it. any of the stupid stuff I see people doing, or I saw one guy, someone sent me a video and the guy punched like a thousand holes in the slab. I just blew my mind. I don't, I don't understand it, but this is how you go about it. I mean, I broke this in an hour, literally. But this is a really sweet setup I have too. This is a, this is a the, probably the biggest breaker they make for the mini. I didn't know they made a 375 until I got this breaker. I thought there was only a 250 or 300 was the biggest breaker. So I, I would advise anyone who's going to buy an S70 or get this setup to get the bigger 375 pound breaker. You'll be glad you did. This is all locked in back here. I'm just breaking it. And if you start off and you want to get the Bobcat, the S70, and the breaker and Demoing, don't worry about going fast. If you have problems in adversity, a lot of people think adversity build, builds character, but it actually reveals it. I've seen so many guys out there that everything's going good and they're in a great mood, then adversity hits and you see who their real character is. So don't just take it for what it is and some days are better than others. So I'm just breaking this out here and I'm looking behind me how the heck I'm going to, I could back out of there, but I'm going to spin and turn it around. See, I'm just wedging it away from the house and then breaking it over there because you don't want to break it up against the house because it knocks the stucco off and you could even rub the side of the breaker against the house and not realize it or break a window. 
I've seen all this stuff happen. So when you're breaking it, just push it forward and give yourself a, a gap. And this is just easy breezy once you get, get it down and start doing it. So I'm coming to the tail end here. I think I got, um, maybe I'm, that's it right there. There it is there. It's all broken up. Start to finish. This is about three hours. I broke this in an hour, loaded it out. I pushed it all forward, trying to get out of there. I pushed it forward and I spun in the dirt behind the patio. Here I am getting out of here. I was going to back out and then I just wiggle around that way. I mean, there's so many obstacles in the yard inside the house, but that's what the mini's for. So when you get a mini, you can go in any tight spot and you can command more money with this S70 than any other skid steer. I make a killing with this. When I was a service, I made a, I, I made most money with this tractor. So I'm just going to go wiggle back through this hallway here and load it up. Yeah, take the breaker off and get the bucket. The truck will be coming. There's a gas line, gas meter right there. That's the only thing I was worried about. And all these little obstacles. I don't want to pop the tire. I, just, I haven't gotten solid tires for it yet. So here it is here. Building it up, calling it a day. But if you're gonna get the, in the um, demo business, this is the first thing to buy is S70 in that breaker. Thank you very much for watching the best in the West.